The only Kural left on the planet is from the frozen Leviathan that was excavated and exposed. The ice it was buried in prevented it from being exposed to the Enzyme 42, right? It went both ways. We were protected from the Kural, but the Kural was protected from the Enzyme 42. You expose the Kural, you expose us to the Kural, you expose the Kural to the for Enzyme 42, Kural loses. It's gone, we're safe. But these PDA logs is like, hey, it's, it's fine, it's whatever. Kural super duper deadly, but Meta can survive it. How? Ah, uh, who knows? Whatever. Okay. Mercury 2 gets shot down about 30 years ago. Oh, it's, there's animals in Sector Zero. Some of them got the Kural. There's Leviathans. How? Oh, it's all right. They just, it, they got plot armor. It's kind of like the writer just didn't give a fuck. Oh, well, who cares? They won't notice. Either y'all didn't notice, and that falls on y'all's fault for not being competent enough. Or you noticed and you thought, you hoped, you figured that we wouldn't notice. Or maybe you're like, the only people that'll notice, the, it's just those evil, hateful, white supremacist bastards, those xenophobic bigots. They're the only ones that won't like this game, and nobody will listen to them. Fuck them. We'll make our game however the fuck we want. If we want to shit on this franchise, we'll fucking do it. It's our franchise to fucking ruin. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. That is a remarkably strange hill to choose to die on. Alright, we got two more logs. Mercury log num Mercury log two Mercury off oh, my words are failing me. I need more coffee. I'm, I usually start my day off with a pot of coffee. Mercury two log number eight emergency takeoff from Diana. And for my notes, the uh, some of the some of the crew are sick, showing symptoms of Kara. The ship is repaired possibility to leave and let's go ahead and play that now Orion's belt this all went sideways Shit. how could I have known that so much would go wrong I failed my crew no I don't fail I didn't get into this position by being a failure it's this desolate land frigid cursed between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of we have to leave at first light tomorrow we are prepping for a rapid takeoff we can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers so we're skipping the systems check risky but i have faith in myself and the crew of the mercury landing this thing was practically a miracle though but we have to get out of here maybe the weapon is to keep people away but if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Uh, so she's talking about the tunnelers. I assume the Mercury 2 crash landed somewhere in the Arctic Spires, right? Otherwise, you know, if she... if. The ship crash landed in water, ice worms wouldn't be an issue. That's just game logic. That's common sense logic. That's logical logic. Okay. Uh, there's no metal salvage other than scraps of like the Snow Fox fragments that Altera left behind. 
There's no Mercury 2 wreck. There's no Mercury 2 mental salvage. There's no crater to even suggest like, hey, a ship might have crash landed here and took off. There's no geological. There's no physical. There's no indication whatsoever other than this very same PDA log itself that indicates the Mercury 2 crash landed somewhere within the Arctic land section of Sector Zero. But that's just a that's a thread, never tied up, it's inconsistent, it's a plot hole. Eh. Okay. And another thing. I could easily chalk this up to Diana just making bad decisions because of what's happening, human error, right? It's okay to write a character that's wrong, a character that makes mistakes or does the wrong things because it's a character in a story. But um, I, it's just a big pill for me to swallow that Diana thinks that she's going to be able to pull this off. And it's probably denial, but it's like, hello... Your crew members are getting sick. Why are you quarantining your crew members? Oh, you can't risk the unknown infection spreading through the mercury. So you had to make, uh, you had to take precautionary measures. It's kind of like that infection is spreading through the planet and the precursors had to put up that force field in the cannon to, uh, to shoot down, you know, ships that could possibly pick up the infection and take it off planet and, you know, spread it throughout the galaxy? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could chalk it up to, oh man, she just wants, she just wants to survive. But, one or two problems, you can give them the benefit of the doubt, but when you've got all these problems, it's like, look, you know what? This isn't benefit of the doubt, you made a couple mistakes. This is a pattern of behavior. This is a demonstrable pattern of behavior. It's observable. It can be observed. It can be measured. It can be compared. It can be observed. It's the, oh, shit. So she's getting ready to take off. One last chance. Got, got to murder those people and leave them behind because can't can't risk you, you know she came to this planet to get some biodiversity she got her bio samples you want to talk about Altera being greedy and Altera being bad oh, Altera likes money and profits they're bad they're evil well you know what fuck the mercury too oh look at all these bio samples we can sell these and make money. We can, instead of coming back home alive and just happy to be at the end of our long journey and seeing our family, let's take one last risk. Let's double or nothing. Let's risk everything we've managed to do so far for a chance for a little bit of extra credits in our pocket. And that's Diana's own wording. Put a little couple extra credits in their uniform, right? Greed, hubris, Mercury 2 got themselves killed for no other reason than, oh, hey, what do we do, guys? What do we do with Below Zero? Hey, we had a shipwreck in Subnautica. It's called the Aurora. Let's make a shipwreck from Below Zero. Let's give it a, let's give it a cool name, Mercury 2. Oh, there's a story behind how the Aurora got shot down. Let's make a story for how the Mercury got shot down. Hey, you could explore the Aurora and like 23 different large wrecks throughout the crater. Let, let's let's make three three chunks of the Mercury that you could explore. Yeah, it, it'll be just like Subnautica. It's like you're using the same ingredients, but you're not following the recipe. You're not following the steps. You're not cooking. You're not cooking it long enough at the proper temperature. You're not preparing the ingredients properly. You're not grating the cheese properly. You see what I'm saying? It's, you're not making the souffle. The souffle is not a souffle. The souffle is just a recipe and you're fucking the recipe up. You don't understand why the things work the way that they do. You're just blindly, I'll, I'll, I'll just throw these things together, right? 